welcome back to my channel so in today's video y'all gonna watch me transform from this into this y'all just gonna come along with me through the process um before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe period okay i look so rough right now but it's okay because i'm gonna turn into a baddie I'm going to turn into a baddie at the end of this video. I believe it. Okay. So, I'm going to be installing this wig. I brushed it out. I really don't know why I brushed it out. But the curls are really cute. You can't really see anymore. Because it just looks like a... I don't know. But I'm going to be re reinstalling this wig, I should say. Um. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all what I do. I'm gonna try to do my best. Like I said, I'm not a hairstylist, so sorry. Okay, so I have all the products that I'll be using in this bin right here. And first things first is I'm gonna prep the wig. I should have vended this, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some of this, got to be glue on it, on the hairline. And I'm just gonna like hot comb it back so it lays flat. And so I don't really have to worry about it later i really hate when the hairs come through the lace that hurts my nerves so bad and i don't know why my hot comb won't work i don't know it's been doing this weird thing lately oh please work if it doesn't work then i'm gonna use a curling iron like yeah Cause that's, that's all I can do. I don't know why it's not working. It literally did this to me last time. Like, what the freak? It started blinking and it'll turn off. Okay, I think it's working. It's getting hot. Please don't turn off. Okay, yeah, it's getting hot for sure. It's working, y'all. It's working. Okay. So while that is heating up, I'm just going to leave it on this whole video because I don't even know my problems. While that's heating up, though, I'm going to go ahead and spray the lace. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. It looks crazy. I don't even really know if I pluck this. I don't, to be honest with y'all, I don't even know when I wore this wig. Like, I was really looking at pictures. And I have like three. Maybe four curly wigs. And sometimes they all be looking the same to me, even though they're different curl patterns. But I have no idea when I put this wig on. But clearly I put it on because it's already cut. Okay. So I'm just going to spray along the hairline. I'm going to brush it back. Just like so. Okay, this is what it looks like before I hot comb it. Let me see. Okay, it's already pretty hot. So I'm just going to go in. Usually I do this on a mannequin head, but I threw mine away. I don't really know why I did it, but threw it away. So I'm going to have to do it like this. Okay, so I laid the hairs back as best as I could. Can y'all see that? Now y'all can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. Y'all see it. I'll probably go back in and repluck it because I don't really know that's how know how that's going to look on my hand. But while waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, goodness. Y'all don't fail. I'm gonna go ahead and start my head. So I need to rebraid this. Oh, it's working. I need to. Did I say rebraid this? I need to braid this down. Whew. I have blow dried it out a couple days ago. I've been putting gel on it, so it's like stiff. But 
it's okay because once this wig is off i'm gonna wash it and i dye my hair y'all but my hair is already growing i don't know y'all see it but yeah i'm just gonna braid my hair down this honestly takes up majority of the time because I like my braids small and I don't know if you say I braid neat but I probably do this looks horrendous but my I really need some more this is pathetic right this is just nasty honestly it's just because I'm gonna show y'all what I do why it looks like this <laughs> Y'all are gonna be like, what the heck? Okay. So basically, I take the got to be glue because you know how this is the got to be gel. Sprinkle. Spit. I can't even see what it says. Spike something glue. I can't even read it. It's covered up. But y'all know how it's white. I don't like putting it while it's white, right? So I put it like this on the thing and I wait until it's clear <laughs> and that's why it's like so much shit stuck to it because clearly it doesn't it doesn't like dry up and I'll just put it in my bucket <laughs> probably not the best idea but I take this glue and I put them on my edges because it's only glue that like will hold my hair down underneath my my uh wig and I honestly, I used to always wear a um a wig cap, but I noticed that it's been starting to take my edges, so I don't wear one anymore. And because I don't wear one, I just have to make sure my edges are really laid down under this wig. But yeah, I'm just going to be braiding like so. And then I don't really braid all the way down once I get here. Because I connect the braid. So I just braid it to like right here. I just leave it. Like one break down a whole lot to go okay. I want to do like a little chat with me maybe I'll just bring up topics that I can discuss because I don't I don't know I feel like a lot of my videos are just with background music over my me talking or over what I'm doing or whatever and I, I wouldn't mind to talk you know I wouldn't mind talking to you guys the whole freaking video. Okay, see back here is getting real thick. I don't know why. It's probably, well, honestly, I can't even see the back, but it's probably because I didn't part it right. And it's probably just a bigger section. I just fixed my lighting and that is so much better. What the heck? I don't know why I wasn't doing this. That looks so much better. But anyways, like I was saying, y'all, I think I want to do, I think I, let me just be quiet. Let me stop just chatting about nonsense and let me get to talking, you know? But I don't know. What do y'all want to know about me? What do I talk about? That's the thing. That's why I like when people be doing like the polls on Instagram and stuff. Maybe I should have did that. Maybe like a Q&A or topics to talk about. Let's talk about how life has been life in lately. Like life has just been life in. It's so crazy. But honestly, y'all. I, I don't know, I just been, I low-key, high-key, been going through it mentally with myself, like, 
and honestly I don't know why I think it's, it's because I'm so hard on myself and like when things don't happen accordingly or things don't happen when I want them to happen I get so like down like no this was supposed to happen this was supposed to happen like now I think that's my biggest problem oh but honestly I've been praying I've been trying to get more closer to God and I just have to realize like these storms don't last forever like honestly these storms really don't last forever like yeah I could be down and sad or upset now but I'm gonna be fine two years from now you know I'm gonna be just fine not even worrying about what what just happened and honestly, that's just how life is. Like, I'm not worried about what happened last year. I'm worried about what's happening now. <clears throat> but yeah, life just been life for everybody. And I just pray whatever you're going through or if you're not going through anything, Lord. Must be nice. No, I'm just kidding. But if you're not going through anything, just be happy. Just be positive. Like, honestly. I've really been trying to live a more positive life and not stressed or worried about this and that and that and this. Like, taking it day by day, not looking so far ahead. Because honestly, that's another thing. I really live by, like, tomorrow's not promised. It's really not. Just have fun. Try to, try to be your best today. You know? What else? What's another topic I can talk about? That was kind of all over the place, but I just had to get it out. Mm -mm -mm. What else? Oh, a change has happened since my first video. So the first video I made was a QA. and I think it was like last December. Oh, yeah, it's definitely last December. Or was it last January? No, nah, it definitely probably was last December. Dang, it's about to be a year since I uh, posted my first video. That's crazy. But um, last December, my first freaking YouTube video. That's crazy to say. But in the video I was telling y'all, I go to FAU, which I still do. That is still true. I do attend FAU, but I'm no longer living on campus, which honestly kind of sucks. Making the, the decision was hard because I like freedom. I like my space. Like the two years I, I was away from home, I loved it. Like if you know me, you know I'm very much independent. I just like being alone. And it gave me the ability to like, not even ability, it gave me the choice to be by myself and be alone and be in my shell or the days that I wanted to explore and communicate with people I could, but I could still go back to being alone. You know? Okay, this one is definitely thick. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, I really loved having that choice i could wake up and the whole day just not communicate with any freaking body and i love that i really love that but honestly y'all tuition is a hell of money it's so much money and and room and board is even more money I'm honestly sad because now that I'm looking back, okay, so I I was never like a partier for real, for real. I just, some days I was just like, okay, let me just get out of my shell because I'm very much an introvert. Like, I don't even like people for real. And I have such bad social anxiety. So I don't really like, I don't like putting myself in positions where like, I don't know how to explain it. But anyways... I wouldn't really get out much. The times that I did get out, I would have a ball. 
like literally have a ball and now that i'm looking like i have my memories like i was just looking yesterday i was seeing my friend jada was it yesterday no it was the day before yesterday i was sending her like videos i was just having fun like in the dorms outside <laughs> and everything oh, it was a time but now i can't even go back like i can't even i can't just go back on campus which i thought that i could i was like honestly for me being sad this summer i'm like damn like i should have just put in my house in for next semester and so i look for the spring semester to go back on campus and i can't i would have to like put in a whole hundred dollar application and i don't even know if i would get accepted which i probably wouldn't because you know they want like underclassmen to really stay on campus they get like first dibs in a sense so there goes that but it is what it is hopefully greater things come my way I'm really trying to get a place bro I need me a crib ASAP no rocky for real uh, why is my hair dry right here the texture just changed on me real bad I like that. It's so funny. Look at these braids. None of them are like even in size. But it's okay. I'm going to, because my hands hurt and my neck is hurting. My back is hurting. I'm going to finish this off camera and then I'm going to come back. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I just finished braiding my hair down. Here you got my little gel braids going. Now it's time for me to oil my. Where did I put it? What's this camera? Oh, hold on, y'all. I had bought. Oh, it's right here. I've been using this, and it is so good. The Mio oil. But hold on. My bad. I'm back. I had bought me some oils from the hair store yesterday. See what I bought. I bought tea tree oil, which I used to always use, Jamaican black castor oil, and Aryan oil. Should I use these now? I was thinking about like mixing them and then you know them becoming one oil that I can just do. Maybe I'll do that. Should I put it in nah? Should I put it in this? Nah, I think I'm gonna do it separately because I really like this oil. This has been growing my hair so good, it's so fast, and it's been so much healthier. And I just love it. And it smells so good. I love the peppermint smell. Now I'm just going to braid this into like one braid if I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, I smell that peppermint. It smells so good. Then I usually take a rubber band. Let's see. Okay. I usually take a rubber band and I secure the end just so it doesn't unravel because the braids were coming from every which direction. So they're not like really, really in it. In the braid. Okay, so now. I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to show you, hold on. Let me thread my needle first. Yeah. I am outside. And okay, so the hot comb is still on, thank goodness. But this is what it's looking like. It's what the lace look like. I think that this lace is like thick or thicker than my other ones be. But anyway, so basically I'm just going to go in with my Fit Me Maybelline powder. And I'm just going to color, well, put this on my lace. I don't really know. 
I had the spray, like, I don't know if y'all been seeing, like, the spray that you spray on afterwards so that it blends in with your skin. But honestly, I did not like that. It looked weird to me. Maybe because, like, my skin tone is very, like, I don't know. I have, like, a lot of light spots, and it's just, I don't know. I really don't know. It just did not look right. But, yeah, I'm just going to put this in my, I'm saying in on my lace. So we all good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a little better, but of course it can get even better once it's on my head. I don't know why it was like that. Let me see if it'll fit my head. Oh, the hot comb turned off. Oh, goodness. Let's see. I really don't remember ever putting this on. That is so crazy. And look how it's cut. Girl, why did I do that? Honestly, this is so random, but I've been trying to figure out, like, where exactly is the best spot for me to put my wig. Like, I don't ever want to put them, put it too low. Oh. Okay, why does it feel like this? Because my head too small or something. I don't know. I don't ever want to put it too too low on me, but I don't want it to be so high either. That's really what I need to figure out is like the best spot to put the wig on. Okay, so the glue is drying, just not, oh goodness. I hate when this happens, it's okay. The glue is pretty much all done drying. So, this is the scary part because let me put y'all up a little bit more. I, like, once you put it somewhere, put the lace, like, okay, once you put it somewhere on your forehead or on your head, it's so hard to, like, take it off and redo it if it, it is not in a place you don't want it to be. So, we're going to try. I'm using this wax stick. I just want to make sure everything is pushed back no little hairs anywhere and later on I'm going to of course hot comb it back but take the middle part first <clears throat> I'm going to put it right about here and then I'm gonna pull one side where I want it right here. So that should be good. Okay. Is that too far up? Oh, I hope not. Okay. Then I just pull the other side where I want it. And there we go. Okay. really trying to pull it because I also hate when it, those little lines pop up like little bumps oh that pisses me off real bad I'm gonna take my comb I'm just going to make sure no hairs are in the way Oh, I see those freaking bumps. Or whatever they're called. It's okay. Hopefully, I can fix it. Hopefully, I can fix it. I did a little trick last time when I just pulled the band. Let me see if it'll do it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, make sure everything's pulled back. I'm going to hot comb it. And I know not everywhere, like, of course, like, it's up right here. Because I didn't put glue all the way right there. But just trust the process. Take out my edges or sideburns or whatever. I really don't know where I want it because, look, the sideburn is not even out. <laughs> like, they're not already 
You're not cut already, so I'm confused. Okay. And honestly, I'm not the best when it comes to this at all. Like, your edges and sideburns, I really, I be trying. That's all I can do is try. I think that's a good amount, though. I don't like too much, and I don't like too little. I used to always barely put any out, and it just looked weird. And I be seeing girls with, like, a lot, but I don't think I would want a lot. But I want something out. Okay, I need to cut this, though. One of my scissors. It's, like, a lot of... I know it's going to hurt my ear eventually, so I'm just going to cut that. I'm just going to take out my edges. I'm just going to put them where I would normally put them for a middle part. And I don't know if I'm doing a middle or side. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to put them where I would normally put them. And we'll see what kind of part I do. So now that I got the pieces that I want out, ugh, it just looks so crazy to me. Just going to take my comb and make sure it's not like laid back from the spray or any lumps. And I'm going to cut it, not exactly how I want it, but I'm just gonna cut it a little bit so that it's out my way. Okay, I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna take this. Ooh, there's barely anything in it, but I'm gonna take this Wonder Lace Bond spray and my lips are dry. Okay, I'm gonna take this spray and I'm gonna put it around my edges, mostly on the lace. Honestly, I'm not plucking this shit. I don't feel like it. Okay. And because, of course, it is a spray, I'm going to try to blow dry it with this because I don't have time to get my other blow dryer. I'm going to blow dry it with this blow dryer brush. Make sure I can take this off. Okay, it's pretty much dry all the way now. So I'm going to do my edges real quick. Like I said, I'm not the best at edges at all. I use this foam setting mousse, the Olive Miracle. And of course my edge brush. And I just, I don't know. When it comes to edges, and I be watching so many freaking videos like so many is it, like i really be trying to be one of them girls and i just i don't know it just don't be working out for me at all okay so i'm gonna cut them i think they're still long as hell okay i think that should be good and i'm going to try to do this so I just put a little bit on at first just to try to see how I want them is that too much and that's another thing I don't want my baby hairs to look like crazy like you know how some people baby hairs just be looking too too much i don't know if this is too too much or not and i feel like my uh did i put the lace down too low like why is it i don't know i don't think that's too shabby okay so now i'm gonna do a little sideburn okay I 
how did that look? Does that look too bad? I honestly don't even know. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Okay, over here is just so bad. <laughs> I really don't know why. This side is not bad, though. Um. Okay, now it's time to fix this lace up one more time. Ooh, look at these edges. the finished look i didn't really get to record like my edges and all that on camera i didn't really get to record a lot because i ran out of storage but this is the final look i love it which i think it's not really a tutorial it's just kind of like a do my hair with me because yeah it looks so cute i end up doing like a free part so i just like put the hair this way I put a little water on it, but it clearly has dried up, so it's poofy again. But what do y'all think? I love it. I love this hair. Honestly, my edges look so good. I was very concerned, but they look really good. I honestly didn't, didn't really do too much of like a touch up. Um, I probably need to put a little bit more like powder foundation. I wiped off that excess um, glue and sprays and all that. But yeah, that's what I look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully there will be another video out very, very soon. Um, yeah, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm loving this hair, girl. Don't play with me. Mm -hmm. Hopefully y'all see some pictures on my instagram so don't forget to follow my instagram y'all see some pictures this weekend with this wig and start in and yeah until next time bye